All right, so instead of reviewing a paper today, I thought I might review this thing. So this person on Twitter posted this link to an article called Brief History of Deep Learning from 1943 to 2019 of machinelearningknowledge.ai. So let's look at this. Actually, let's look at the tweet first because this is, I just saw this. The male only history of deep learning, where you say AlexNet makes history, but ImageNet doesn't because women's contributions don't count. And contributions from anyone except for white and white adjacent people, for that matter. That is the tweet, and it has 109 retweets and <laughs> over 400 likes, and people generally agreeing with this sentiment. So the the person is expressing uh, concerns that the this article is only going over one particular group of people. And so let's look at the article. They basically go over the history of neural networks, of deep learning in an algorithmic sense. So let's check it out. So first we go into neurons starting at 1943. And uh, the Perceptron paper right here, the first backpropagation algorithm from Kelly. This actually, I think people like Schmidhuber would be proud. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is kind of a, more of a forgotten history, or some of these things are more of a forgotten history. Of course, Minsky's paper, very famous. Um, but here, backpropagation attributed... Um, to this paper and so on and you can see things people like Hinton only coming up later here the Boltzmann machine backpropagation in neural networks now um, so this as as far as I can tell it's it's just a, a take on kind of the history of algorithmic development and you can see here it really is about algorithms the the algorithms behind D deep learning. So here is the vanishing gradient problem, the LSTM as an architectural component, deep belief, ne deep belief networks, then you have uh, GPUs for training, again vanishing gradients, AlexNet, then GANs, AlphaGo. So we're now going a bit faster and then the end it says Turing, the Godfathers win the Turing Award uh, for their immense contribution in advancements in area of deep learning and artificial intelligence. This is a defining moment for those who had worked relentlessly on neural networks when the entire machine learning community had moved away from it in the 1970s. So the article clearly um, is focused on algorithmic developments in deep learning, right? And that's why AlexNet is here. Now this person rags that AlexNet is here, but ImageNet isn't. And <laughs> clearly you can see from the article, ImageNet is a data set. It was not made with deep learning in mind. It was simply made as a data set. It's not an algorithmic development. So GANs are here as well, right? But Celeb A isn't, C410 isn't, MNIST isn't, um, the Pen Tree Bank isn't, right? So the I think we've skipped a lot of architectural advancements here, like know transformers or all kinds of all kinds of things here but the history is clearly about the algorithmic developments and to reframe this um, it's clearly states ImageNet doesn't because women's contributions don't count right the insinuation here absolutely I find this to be absolutely intellectually dishonest and they say, and contributions from anyone except for white and white adjacent people for that matter. <laughs> At this point, you just have to laugh. Like, because, of course, the narrative that the person wanted to tell was that it's only white people that that count. But then you scroll and you're like, it doesn't fit my narrative, right? This, this, this GPU is not a white person. And... <laughs> So you, you to make it fit your narrative, you have to call white adjacent. What is white adjacent? It's like it's whatever I don't like, I now call white. Um, and but people just people just agreeing with this, I find this absolutely disgusting. 
and I find the article to be okay. I don't know better, but if you have a problem with, I definitely think there is misattribution in science throughout, even systematic, but to say that ImageNet wasn't included because women's contributions don't count, that is just a straight out lie. And to call people white adjacent is like, how do you not have a bell in your head that goes ding, 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 ding when you do something like this? Um, so I find this to be dishonest, um, either willfully or just because people have so become used to seeing the world in one particular frame. And this is, I think these, these calls, they only get, they only get big whenever there is money and attention going into a field, right? If you look at like any, any field where it's just a bunch of weirdos doing their thing, the weirdos don't care who's there. They just care about the ideas that people have, right? And I believe we should take that view in science in general. Um, I don't care who has the idea and these people do and I disagree. All right, that was it. Uh, keep pushing back on these things if you agree as well and uh, keep science for ideas. Thanks.